Oh, is that Warren? Oh. Hey, birdie. The birds are flocking around Samuel. That would be a nice picture. Ah, there's Samuel, up early, already communing with the critters. Yep, yep. That would be an awesome photo. Hey, Samuel. You're up early. Oh, hello, young Max. I do love the early morning. Everything is so calm and quiet. And I can feel the animals waking up with me. That's one thing I truly love about Arcadia Bay. It's all those cool animals in the forest. The squirrels always come in the morning. She's got her doe food. shirt on. I can hear them whisper. What animals do you see in the forest? I saw a doe. Don't laugh, but I saw a doe that seemed to be looking right at me. Like it was trying to communicate. Oh, that's your spirit animal. Nothing weird there, except you saw yours. Could be a sign about your destiny. <laughs> what do I know? My spirit animal is a squirrel. I, I can't ask you how you know about spirit animals. Just the snow. So, what did you think about that freak snow shower yesterday? Another message from the Earth to get our shit together. I will say that Samuel hasn't seen anything like that before. I so don't want to get in the way of your morning ritual. See you later. Of course you will. People are like, yeah, freak snow. No idea what to do with that. Well, scaffolding's down now. Oh, he still has this open. I'm just gonna be nosy. Files? Uh. I can see that Samuel's concerned, but does he need a poster? I mean, maybe he's taking it down. How did Samuel get photos of Rachel posing? Um, she posed for everybody. What? What's the thought bubble? Is that saving? I think it's saving. I've never seen Samuel wearing shades. And what's with this other crap? Sammy's stuff? It almost looks like a lost and found box, but there's a lot of... women magazines. Samuel really should keep this locked. It's a waiting accident. Yeah. And too easy to sneak into. Should I hit this again? I definitely won't play with this thing again. No. Okay. I mean, some of this could be stuff he just picked up. But it's a little odd to be in here. Although I'm not going to judge the guy for looking at women magazines. This needs cleaned up. How hard is it to dump the trash into a bin? But I could use this to attract squirrels. Release the Kraken. Come on, squirrels. It's time for your 15 minutes of fame. I think this is our, one of our photo ops. Come on. Come on. Come on, buddy. Yeah. Come closer. Yeah. Check out the donut. Don't run away. Yes! Another Pulitzer for the portfolio. I mean... I don't know how great these are, Max. I'm just saying. <laughs> Although these are really... These are actually some good angles. They're cute. Oh, I couldn't... Oh, I thought the look would stay. Oh, well. There's, um... There was a dandelion fluff. Now it's gone. But it was floating in the air for a minute, and when I tried to focus on it, it disappeared. Butterfly? You get a butterfly. Another one. Oh, there's... See? There's dandelion fluffs. Football. Can't Blackwell have at least one no football zone? Oh, I'm dumb. Come back. Come on. Come on. There we go. I can just rewind. Oh, it still won't give it to me. Oh, I thought it would give me the 
the look so that I could do dialogue. Oh, we can look at the totem. Warren told me that totem is named Tobanga for a reason nobody knows. Tobanga. Hold on. Likely a play on words referencing the Native American word Topanga. So instead of a B, it has a P, meaning where the mountain meets the sea. Also the name of a city in California. Hmm. So maybe that's what it is. This is Brooke. If if I'm remembering her name correctly, which I might not be. Is this window still broke? Oh, did Samuel have to fix it? Shit. The window was still broken after I warned Alyssa about the rogue football. One little thing changed the course of that window's life. Well, I mean, the window wasn't really alive, Max. Samuel had to fix it, unfortunately, but... I don't think I've actually seen Taylor, Taylor alone without Team Victoria. Hi, Taylor. Hi, Taylor. Just because you were nice to Victoria doesn't mean I have to be nice to you. Okay. Sorry. I don't want to fight with you or Victoria. Instead of smack talk, let's just talk for once. You're funny. Well, I'm not doing anything at the moment, so talk. Kate's video? Kate is really upset about the video. All this gossip is cruel. Boo-hoo. That's what happens when you preach to everybody about sex. She'll live. Not if she's as depressed as she seems to be. She's covering up... She's covering up her mirrors. Why do you hang out with Victoria? And drawing she's skulls. She's mean to you and Courtney. And she's bossy too. Look, you don't know her. I do. And she's one of the best friends you could have. Bossy best friends. I guess I've had mean, bossy best friends, too. Better than having mean, bossy parents. I would love it if my mom was mean or bossy instead of sick. But whatever. Mm. We've had our talk. Um, I guess I'm gonna ask about your mom. Now? Hi, Taylor. Hi, Taylor. Oh, this is really personal. I've heard that your mother was sick. I'm so sorry. What what happened to her? Well, if you do care, my mom had back surgery. Oh. Victoria was there for me. Like you are for Kate. I'm not about tearing people down, Max. I know. That's why I wanted to talk. I'm glad we did. Hey, look at that. Well, that conversation didn't suck. <laughs> Give peace a chance. Hi again, Taylor. Hey. That wasn't such a bad talk. We should do it again. See you later. Oh, Kindness, man. Kindness goes a long way. <laughs> oh. Again? This is Nathan's father. This is a message to let you know that attempts to slander and blackmail my son will be met with many lawyers and legal ramifications. You're not the first student at Blackwell to try this. I hope you're the last. Consider this a final flight warning. We're not blackmailing and we're not slandering. So, you know. Screw you. Come on over here. Warren is out and about already, too. Looks like he's waiting for somebody. Uh, it's not you? Warren, what are you doing here? Oh, nothing. Waiting for a call? I mean, I already took the call. He's waiting anyway, for you. I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. That was intense. That was intense. Everything happened so fast. I owe you. Oh, yes, you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. I'm some personal superhero. You're a real everyday hero. You stood up to a bully, and it was awesome. Even though you left me with said bully and ran off with that girl, she's pretty punk rock. How do you know her? Just a pirate. An old friend. Chloe Price. We haven't seen each other in a while. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star. Which begs the question, why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? Cause he had a gun. I busted him in the bathroom yesterday with a gun. I'll give you the story later. Principal Wells is taking care of it now, I hope. Weird fucking week. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday. Speaking of dystopia, 
That drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Let's go ape! <sighs> so, like, I know he wants this as a date. He didn't say it like a date. And we are friends, so... Yes, that's exactly what I need. I love those old-school ape films. Well, that was easier than I thought. Cool, <laughs> I'll text you the info. Hopefully... I, he wants it to be like a date. I know he does. I don't know if Kate realizes that he does. Friends can go see a movie as long as that's what this is. Warren is out and about already, too. I have to tell Brooke I'm going with you to the movies. <gasps> what? What? I have to tell Brooke I'm going with you to the movies instead. Man. I'll text you later. No. No, 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 no. What? Did you promise Brooke? That you were gonna go to the movies with her, and then Fine. you... What are you doing here? <laughs> and then you flaked on her? That was it. Because I said oh, I'd yes, go? You did. No. No, I don't think I can concentrate on going out to the movies. I just feel like escaping. Fine. Be a damn dirty human. I'll go eat myself. You're going with Brooke, you dick. Oh, I have to see if Brooke wants to go into the drive-in, Max. Maybe I'll see you later. Did she invite you to the movies? And then you were like, oh, I'll ask Matt. I don't freaking go hang out with Brooke. What's that? I'm like, so... <laughs> yeah, no, I'm keeping that. I'm keeping that. Freaking... What? David talking to Nathan cannot be a good thing. This has something to do with Kate. Or Rachel. I doubt it has to do with Rachel at this point. I thought, I thought the, the one kid was driving. <laughs> You can't see the bus driver, and he's in front. Ah, oh, copyright. I'm okay with this copyright. <laughs> ah, music is so good. The soundtrack is so good. dream of it <laughs> what be a millionaire hope nobody steals my lottery talk job. about going back in time the diner looks exactly the same it's those birds I bet he's seen a lot of changes to Arcadia Bay in his lifetime she looks busy and stressed oh goodness 
Hi. You look lost. Close. Do you know if the bus has come yet? The online schedule isn't working. Uh, I just got off. I just got off the school bus, but I'm sure the regular bus is okay. coming too. Oh, that's a relief. <laughs> I can't be late for this job interview. I can't believe I have to take a bus all the way to Newport just to find a second job. Are things that bad here? Where are things good? I can't even afford to live here. Well, good luck. Thanks, I sure need it. Ugh, it's rough. I'll just keep waiting and hope the bus comes. Ugh, Chloe. <laughs> Running late, grab a booth at the diner. Mom will feed you. I'll be lucky if you make it by noon. Okay, it's almost nine now. What happened here? The plot thickens and I can't get out. So after listening to Victoria and Taylor rag on Kate about the video, I came back to my room to find this creepy photo montage. Only Nathan would be this disturbed. The thought that Nathan was in here actually setting up this weird gallery is way fucked up. I better start being more careful around here. I almost want a surveillance system now. How did he get in your room? As if things weren't dramatic enough, I got a creepy text from a private number. Nathan, Victoria, it's Nathan. I really have to start watching my back. I still had to give Kate's book back, so I went to her room. I knew she wasn't doing good, but I didn't know how bad until I went in. All the lights were off, blinds closed like some emo goth den. And Kate is the opposite of emo or goth. She's just crying in the dark, and it's so sad to see her like this. More sad is that I wished I could take a picture of her framed in her expressionist misery. Damn. Kate admitted that she thinks something more happened to her than just a video. Plus, she told me that Nathan Prescott gave her a ride from the party to the ER. She thinks he did something to her, but she doesn't remember what. It's hard not to believe, Kate, considering what kind of person she is and what kind of person Nathan is. I've seen for myself exactly what that fucker is capable of. Of course, Kate asked if she should go to the police and the principal. I told Kate she should absolutely go to them. Other people could be in danger, but Kate also said... She would use me as her backup, which kind of scares me because of this text threat. Should I be getting this involved when somebody's obviously stalking me or worse already? This is getting freakier than I can handle. Super max not. I ran into Warren, or rather Warren was waiting to run into me. Naturally, he wanted to know what the hell happened in the parking lot with the Chloe and Nathan show. Once again, I felt like a dick because I should have gotten a hold of Warren to see if he was okay after we just left him in the lot. I do owe him. I only told him a little about what was going on with Nathan, the less he knows the better for him. I would love to at least tell him about my ability to fucking reverse time and space. But ironically, I don't think it's the right time or space. Besides, he would want to marry me immediately, or he could have his own human time machine. Or capture me for scientific experiments, or make me go to the drive-in with him. Oh wait, he did try to get me to go to the drive-in with him, and I refused. I'm not really in the mood this week, and I don't want to lead him on. Yeah. Curious as to what this would say if I had. So she she is fully aware that he is into her. So, okay. So we need to keep that in mind. She is fully aware of what he wants. Before catching the bus out to meet Chloe, I saw Nathan talking to David, which made me nervous. Otherwise, I had a nice soundtracked ride to the Two Whales Diner. Talk about going back in time, I haven't seen the diner in five years, but it looks exactly the same. Although now, there are way less fishermen and way more dumped food carts than when we were kids. Chloe and I had the best backdrop to play pirate. Old ships in a big ocean. No time for chit chat. I'm a millionaire. Yep. Got my lottery ticket right here. Waiting for the bus so I can cash it in. Okay. You can't have my lottery ticket. Buy your own. Okay. <laughs> Is can I even? I'm assuming the game will stop I don't want me. To go that way. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's an interesting boat. Why does that look familiar to me? Oh, the lighthouse is up there. Is that the boat that crashed? Is that the boat? In the nightmare that hit the lighthouse and then tumbled down the... Because I, I think that's it. I got picked up by the tornado and... I think that's it. Liars? 
Look at all these flyers. It's so sad that nobody will read them. Save our bay, restore the lifeblood of Arcadia Bay, end the man-made drought. He looks like a photo of the classic Arcadia Bay crusty fisherman. Good morning. Looks like you're ready to catch some serious fish. I wish, young gal. Arcadia Bay just isn't the same fishing town I grew up in. Has the town changed much? By Neptune's beard, it has. Seems like a lifetime ago when I was king of the harbor. You did good? You did pretty good to have lasted this long. Oh, the fish used to jump onto my boat until the Prescotts and their finance fiends snapped up harbor rights. Ooh. The Prescotts have a lot of power. They might rename the town Prescott Bay. If that tells you much. Damn. Do you know them? Do you know them? Do good for my working kind. I know them through their bad deeds. Let's not get downcast. I hear the fish calling for Bali High. Never forget that old fishermen never die. We just smell that way. <laughs> I'd love to learn more, but I have to get going. Happy fishing out there. I think I've talked my quota for the year. Yeah, but you had more to say. I don't think you talked much at all. Good morning. Looks like you're ready to- I wish, young guy. Has the town changed? Has the town- By Neptune. Your own boat. You have your own boat? I call her the Bali High. I've kept a hold of her in these lean days. Might be all the time we've got left. I thought one of Arcadia Bay's main exports was fish. Oh, the fish used to jump onto my boat until the Prescotts and their finance fiends snapped up harbor rights. The Prescotts? They might rename. They own my school. Crooks gain respect when they put their names on schools and libraries. Let's not get downcast. I I'd love to learn more. Okay. Is this... That might be his truck. Is our window... Well, there's a butterfly. No, I'm so dirty. Okay. Obviously, nobody took my advice. <laughs> it's not advice. It's really not. It's kind of a snarky thing to do. Hold to another universe. We keep seeing that. Oh, puppers! What is it? Oh, okay, look. There's that dirty RV from the other day. Can I come say hello? Uh, stop that! Stop! No barking. Can I... Is it gonna eat me if I get too close? Okay. No. Alright. Dog is... There was something aggressive. creepy about that guy and his dog. Hmm... Just hanging out in their RV, it's fine. I don't think nope, I can cross- I nope. don't want to go there. Okay, yeah, I was like, I don't think I can cross the street. Yes, we're open. Daily post. Bacon and eggs, only five ninety five. Snow. Well, that's a good start to the story. Weather Service baffled by snow. In a rare admission, the National Weather Service has yet to come up with a conclusive reason for the unusual snow that briefly hit Arcadia Bay this week. I wonder if they explained that snow. Nope. Newspapers are going to be retro soon. Excuse me, sir? Can you believe this town? The world is on fire and our big headline is snow. I can hardly wait for next week's big story. Clouds! The snow was odd. The snow was pretty odd. It was right in the middle of a warm, sunny day. Oh, global warming bullshit. It's the Northwest. Snow happens. I keep reading how Arcadia Bay is booming. The paper can only talk about that or about missing girls. What do you want the paper to talk about? You mean Rachel Amber? 
Well, I guess. I bet she ran away because she was bored. Who wouldn't be here? Okay, I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> Jeez. Like, the frick? What? I, uh, I don't, I don't want to talk to you. Damn it, I should exhaust all the options even though I don't want to. See if he has anything. Me. Can you believe this town? The How long have you lived here? Long enough to know that Arcadia Bay will be a ghost town in a few years. I keep reading how Arcadia Bay is booming. The paper can only talk about that or about missing girls. Hmm. This town is more like a mystery to me. You're young. You'll get over it. <laughs> Jeez. Isn't there a thing here? Isn't there something weird? Or maybe I'm thinking of a later chapter. Can't read what that says. Poor woman. I hope it's a shelter for her. Hello. Oh, look at you. A fine example of youth. I bet you're a senior student. Yes, I go to Blackwell Academy. I could tell you're a wise young woman. I know all about Blackwell and this town. Hmm, what do I want to ask her about? How long have you lived in Arcadia Bay? A thousand years. I've gone through the same changes as the town. What changes? What changes to the town? Ones it takes a lifetime to see. There's a lot of beauty here, but a lot of darkness, too. Greedy bastards that ruin this town put people out of work. Out of home. Like me. I'm sorry. Have you ever lived outside of here? Where the hell would I go? I hate the sun and love the mist. I might be homeless, but Arcadia Bay is still my home. Hmm. I bet you have dirt on the Prescott family. <laughs> that whole family is dirty. They once done good things for Arcadia Bay. Those days are dead. Like anything in their way. I know somebody who's being threatened by a Prescott. Then you be their guardian angel, because nothing gets in the way of that family. Especially not the law. Hell, they own your school, Blackwell. Almost. You must know Joyce Price from the Two Whales Diner. She's fed me more than my own family. Oh. How's a daughter your age who's always in trouble? Married to a real prick. <laughs> David Madison? His name is David Madison. He told me to get a job once. Oh. Asshole. Not sure what Joyce sees in him, but he better treat her right. I think he does. I have to go now. Goodbye. I'm not certain. Come talk to me any old time you want, young lady. I don't think... I mean, David Madison seems like an absolute prick. And from what we've seen, he is. Hello. Oh, look at you. Yes, I go. I could tell. But, I don't know, Joyce doesn't seem like... How long have you... A thousand years. I don't, she doesn't seem like someone who would let another person walk all over her, but I don't know. What happened to you? What didn't happen to me? Sometimes you start out in life turned around the wrong way. I married dumb, made mistakes, got cheated out of my savings, lost my home, and now I hang out here. I'm sorry. Where the heck? Have you met Joyce's daughter? Cute girl. Pissed off. Yeah. I used to see her and her pretty friend, uh, Rachel, around a lot. Rachel Amber. Do you know anything about Rachel Amber? That missing girl? I know she's missing. And I know she hung out here a bit. Sometimes I'd see her walking all by herself, deep in thought. Too damn young and pretty to look so worried. Hmm. Did you talk to her? 
Did you talk to her? Once or twice she'd talk to me about trouble in school, wanting to be some model in California. She was always distant, but nice. I pray the poor thing is all right, but you can't save everybody. I have to go now. No, goodbye. I want to ask if she was alone. I'm going to rewind that entire conversation just to ask. Hello. Oh. Was she alone a lot or with friends? Like I said, she seemed tight with Joyce's daughter. I thought I saw her with an older gent one time. Maybe her dad. That's a terrible thing for a parent to deal with. Yeah. I pray the poor thing is all right. That does make me wonder, like, Chloe's the one putting up all these posters. So what about her parents? Like, we never hear, we never hear anything about them, I don't think. I have to go now. Hi, I'm back again. Oh. Sure looks that way. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and just go through these just I to... Bet. Just in case it matters, which I don't think it does, but I feel like How? I want to actually talk to this. I want to make sure the game what? What? recognizes that I sat down and I talked to this woman. Come talk to me any old time you want, young lady. I like her. It's really awful that we have the stigma against the homeless and like they did something to deserve to be there. Like, we look at people and we're like, oh, that wouldn't happen to me. And it, it can be surprisingly easy to end up there just through no fault of your own. And it sucks. I feel like I should be finding something back here. Ugh, not what I wanted. The diner. Fire walk with me in a bone. Maybe not back here. Can I get a picture? The sun's over... Where is the sun? The sun's there. Oh. Up here? That sign reminds me of so many times I ate here with Chloe and my family. When we were happy. Oh. There we go. Yeah. I thought maybe it was this sign that I'm standing next to, but apparently it's not. Birds, 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 birds. Freaking me out. Alright, let's go get breakfast. Man, that smell of breakfast and the sound of clanging silverware makes me feel 13 again. <laughs> Good lord. Talk about apocalyptic. Affordable luxury homes? Invites you to live in the woods? Luxury homes for sure. Oh, that brings back memories. 25th oh, annual. I loved the parade. Happy Halloween Bazaar. Mayor leads the kitty costume parade. Main Street Arcadia Bay. Carving pumpkin contest, local vendors and food trucks, tricks and treats. Happy Halloween. Looked like it was talking about the snow. Coming up at noon, KBA 7 News will explore the mystery of yesterday's unusual snowfall on a warm and sunny late afternoon that confused and delighted Arcadia Bay residents. We'll be talking with Portland meteorologists in the area and look at some of your fun video reactions to the odd snow flurry. Who knows? Maybe Mother Nature was pranking us all. <laughs> so, stay tuned to K-Bay 7 News for the real story. Mm-hmm. Weird lady fishermen. These fishermen are so damn quiet. 
I mean, he's sitting there by himself. I always wonder what people think about when I eat alone. Um. Oh man, I bet that's the same gum from when I was here last. <laughs> I think people sitting alone usually think about sitting this alone. This guy has serious corners. Join the Custeus? I did not pronounce that right. All day sea adventure, you've seen him on TV. Read about him in the news. Now charter the legendary seaman for your own ocean voyage. This undersea wonders. Local captain, fisherman, marine expert with 30 years experience will take your group on a three hour tour of Arcadia Bay's lush and exotic aquatic kingdom. Jack will not only explain the importance of our marine life to the ecosystem, but he will help you catch and prepare your own fish from the sea. Why does that so not sound fun? Fully equipped 50, 40 foot vessels, day and night trips available, discovering exciting history on the high sea, journey in total safety and comfort, Moby Dick tours. Okay. I might make Chloe check this out with me. <laughs> Sasquatch field trip, explore the wild woods of Arcadia Bay with respected crypt cryptozoologist. Author of Bigfoot Mystery or Science and Bigfoot Monster or Sasquatch. Narrator of the documentary Bigfoot I Believe in You. Join Chuck every Saturday and Sunday for a full half day of hiking to the sites where Bigfoot is most likely to appear. Chuck will share his extensive knowledge of the lore, legend, and fact, and you'll end the day casting your very own Bigfoot print based on an area known only to Chuck Pierce Jr. Interesting. More flyers. More Rachel Amber flyers everywhere. The poster doesn't mention whacked students with guns. <laughs> Global excellence in arts and science for a hundred years and counting. Kate Marsh, love you long time. Flush before pissing on the floor. That graffiti has been here forever. <laughs> Back when you were 13. Rachel... A owes me a blowjob. So does Gross. your mom. Oh. Fire walk with me. How about a, a picture of that dough on the wall, maybe? Arcadia case. What? Thank you, redneck poet. Ugh. Postcards. Ooh, t-shirt. I would buy a shirt, but they're so damn tourist. Best burgers in Arcadia Bay. Oh, you could wear it as a, um, pajamas. You'd never know how weird this town is by these postcards. <laughs> they look perfectly normal. Ew, that guy looks unpleasant. Well, apparently you want to talk to him? What do you want? I feel like shit. Too much beer, so spare me, please. Just let me suffer quietly. <laughs> Hello there to you! Such a oh. beautiful day, eh? Oh yeah, it's gonna be a super day. Enjoy your breakfast, eh? Oh my god. Wow. Did you catch any big ones today? If by big you mean none, then sure. I caught a lot of big ones. Oh, jeez. Let me mourn over my eggs. Holy frick. This is why I have social anxiety and don't like going up to talk to people. <laughs> Nobody wants you to talk to them. 